everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and we're going to do some more ink swatching today. I have got actually 18 inks left, so we're going to do four and four and then ten. But I don't know if they're all going to fit in this video or there's going to have to be another part to this. But I want to start with the blue and green colors. I got a few olivey greens and then also like tealy blue leaning colors. So we'll do four on one page, four on the other. And we're just going to get started. I'll speed up through a lot of this and then I will let them dry, then write the samples names. So we've got Diamine Aurora Borealis, and I do have um, Aurora Australis, and um, it's more of like a pinky one, I'm pretty sure. I love any of these teal leaning things. And that was like the water, <laughs> the water changes. That's like half the fun of swatching right here. Okay, editing Sammy here. I went ahead and put the rest of this whole part of the video to music and just sped through it. I really, really like watching the swatches get spread out. So I slowed those clips to real time, but everything else is sped up. So it's just like I do as always. I make the circle swatches and then let them dry and then go back in with the dip pen at a later time to write the names and things. And in this video, I happen to also put the green swatches in my little ink swatch booklet, all nice and organized. So you'll see that clip as well, but I will talk to you guys at the end and show you guys how everything dried down and give you an up close and personal look and then we will talk about it but the rest of this i'm just going to speed up to music so sit back and enjoy the swatchy goodness All right, let's look at the swatches. I have done so many swatches since filming that clip. There we go, look at that, I've done so many swatches. So that's a preview of what's to come on this channel. But here's my blue and green swatchy goodness. Now, I did not realize that I was gonna have one more like citrus type of ink. I bought this one because it's, the name is green olive, basically, it's just French. And uh, I think it's French, but yeah, that totally 
is like a bright green olive. I was thinking more of like a dark olive green or an avocado-y type of green. And this one definitely came off way brighter than I anticipated. So I've got lots of good variation with those colors. And then of course, all the tealy goodness. And this one is really interesting how it sheens. It's got a, like a reddish burgundy-ish type sheen to it. As far as the teals, you guys know I love teals. This is the current one I actually have in my pen and I put it in like three weeks ago, maybe even up to four weeks ago at this point, And I'm just using it all up. I just think it's gorgeous and dreamy and it's just a perfect rich teal. So that one has been in my dip pen for weeks and weeks, even though if you've watched any of my ink videos or my use it up videos, I talk about I wanna switch my pen color every week and play around with as many colors as possible. I have stuck with this one. So it is a top fave for me. It just writes so beautifully and it's just a great color. And then a very similar color is Peacock Flare here. And this one just has more shimmer and the under part of it, I don't know what to call it, like the tiniest lightest part is a much lighter shade than the edges of this one, but the writing sample looks almost exactly the same. So I think they're pretty much the same color just without shimmer and with shimmer. I happen to really like both of those. And now this one is called Sub-Zero. It does have a frosty shimmer to it, which is really, really pretty. And I like the way that the sample wrote out. This one I would say is more of an aqua or a bright blue versus these ones are definitely teal leaning and just totally different vibes from those. And then this one, it actually writes mostly like more green, deep greenish looking, but it does still have that sheening on some of the strokes, which I think is really neat. So that one's a fun one I wanna play around with too. And now as far as the greens, I showed you guys, I talked about this one a little bit. This one's Aurora Borealis, by the way, I didn't say that. And then this one is Takchia Sabibi Dory. <laughs> I don't know exactly how to say that. This is one of the Sailor inks, and I really like this one as well. This one's more of like your kind of army-ish type of green, and it really stands out when you're writing. I did end up smearing this one, unfortunately, um, but it still looks good as far as how everything wrote. I've been loving the dip pen, by the way. It's that same dip pen I talked about. I finally got it working and the samples turn out great with it. Um, then we've got Diamine Razzmatazz right here. And this one does have some shimmer to it. And again, these two are very similar colors. I don't know um, like the translation for this one, but I think it's a really beautiful green color. So I'm really digging the greens. I of course love all of the teals and aquas. This one has a an interesting sheen to it, whereas the deepest parts, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it on those color shifting parts. Otherwise, nothing super notable about the greens so much. I really do like the shimmer on that one. And then the writing sample is so different on these. Like these two inks lean very similarly in their swatches, but the writing sample looks totally different to me. So like I've got four completely distinct type of greens, even though I thought they were all gonna be very, very similar. And then again, look at those ones. Give you one last look at all these guys and then we'll wrap up this video. I have so much fun inking, clearly. I love inking and ink swatching. Before we end the video, I do wanna show you, I have worked on my ink swatch book, which I will share with you guys at some point. I'm finding my greens, but look, there's way more greens than the first four I showed in this video, but there are the four all lined up and they look great together. And then I ended up with lots more greens. So I'll end up sharing this swatch book with you guys very soon. I've been working on it. You can see it's getting nice and fluffy, but that is it for this video. I've got 10 more swatches from this same ink sample haul. And then I ended up getting a bunch of samples from lay pens, which I will have swatches for those in the future as well. And question of the day, which of these colors is your favorite? I would love to know down below. I totally lean for this one. Diamine, Aurora Borealis, it's just such a beautiful color. I've used it for weeks and weeks and I still am enjoying using that color. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stick around and subscribe, follow me along, thumbs up. You guys know the drill and have a great day. Thanks for watching.